Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Marvel Snapcast. I'm your host, Ken, here with your other host, Valentine and Loot Muncher. How are you guys doing? What's up? Doing Fantastic. Good, yeah. Tonight we have a Star Pack podcast. We've got a few people we're going to introduce. I'll start off with uh, GC James, ladies and gentlemen, the road dog, GC James, the number one top Donkey Kong player in Snap. <laughs> <laughs> you Thank you, Thank you, Ken. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. I'm doing great. Happy to be here. Fantastic. All right. And then we have Eggs for Sale here. Eggs, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming. Hi. Out. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. <laughs> Eggs is awesome, guys. Please check out her stream. She always have a good time. She make you feel very welcome. Definitely check out her over at Twitch. We'll leave all the socials down below. Then, of course, we have the Book of T of Marvel Snap, the five-time champ, <laughs> Q-Brush champ, <laughs> Default Dan. Welcome, my friend. How are you? What's up, man? Doing good, doing good. Fantastic. Thanks for coming out. And of course, we have someone who doesn't need any introduction, Mr. Marvel um, Jeopardy, and also <laughs> Snap Pictionary. Kawa, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Thank you very much for having me back, guys. I'm excited to talk about the new patch. Awesome. Guys, welcome to the stream. What we do here is, of course, talk about Marvel Snap. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to come out and hang with us. Um, Let's get right into it, shall we? Let's do it. Do so it, we have the first card that we want to discuss today is Shadow King. Has any of you guys purchased Shadow King as of yet? I mean, we know the answer to that question. <laughs> Go ahead, Kawa. <laughs> don't, don't look, Go don't ahead, look Kawa. at me, guys. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm just going underwater here. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I got Shadow King. Um, my thoughts on him so far, I've done... Uh, Done a bit of testing with him, put him into a few different types of decks. I don't think he's the type of card that you want to uh, build a deck around. He's very much a tech card, so kind of like your uh, Shang-Chi, I guess you could kind of compare him to. Um, and out of all of the testing that I've done so far, I think he actually probably works best in a uh, Zabu deck, since he is a four cost, you get that reduction on him. Um, and the best decks are kind of to, to, to use Shadow King against is probably Surfer. Obviously, Surfer's running around a lot at the moment, so like you can debuff any of the the surfer procs if you if you play shadow king at the end and they have priority and it also kind of helps against uh i guess certain negative decks you know if they do like uh they they want to switch their zola around or their iron man that's it's you know reduces it from being a, a zero five to a zero zero and um, so it's it's interesting in that sense and then it's, it's also good against like your, your other cards such as like tor your bishops your angela so if we ever see like a meta was like certain like certain amount of those cards are heavily played in decks I think um, he can see play, but uh, currently I think he's just like, meh, you know, if you if you get him, he's, you know, that's one of those cards that's randomly generated that helps you win the game, you know what I mean? Something like a, like if you get a Quake, that, to, to that equivalent, like, do you know what I mean? Like it could help you win the game, but it's a rare circumstance. But I do think that um, in the future, he'll be a very um, popular tech card, again, depending on the meta for sure. How does he work with uh, Luke Cage? Just out of curiosity. Does he, would, does he mm. like... He can revert your your high power cards, and then they go back with Luke Cage if they're brought down. Does that work that way? I have not tested that out myself. I have played him in a hazmat deck, and he okay. will like bring your your hazmat cards if they went down, bring them back up. But I'm not sure about the the opposite way. Well, I guess like Luke Cage is only your cards can't be reduced, right? So if you buff them anyways, Shadow King will probably still just bring them back down to uh to their original power. So yeah. Does it work with ongoing? Is it like Valk? Where... No, it does not work with with ongoing. Yeah, it's like, essentially like Valkyrie. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mm -hmm. like negate that uh, ongoing effect at all. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel any type of way about it. So mm -hmm. that means it also doesn't work with ongoing buffs. I would assume as well, right? If if the buff is coming mm -hmm. from another card, that's just going to be ignored as well. Yeah. Yeah. So to kind of, if you want to like really understand, I guess it's like if a card like Spectrum is a card that gives a buff. So this would like mm -hmm. negate any spectrum effect, but if it's an ongoing effect that's consistently reading that buff throughout the game, then yeah, it won't be able to stop that. Yeah. Like yeah, so, so like a, a dino or a, mm -hmm. a dark hawk or something like that. That's yeah, yeah. Just not gonna do anything to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But also it could be um like location based, right? Mm -hmm. For Shuri's lab, it could bring them back down. Mm -hmm. totally. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Could, that's actually could a great, bring a great you thing. back up on Jotunheim. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Really? That's true, that's too. interesting. 
Yeah, that's, unlike Nid Valir and I uh, can't remember the one that's just plus one, right? Jotunheim's an actual tick and proc, so even yeah. moving them away with Cloak or something, that negative comes with them. So I imagine Shadow King works there. Yeah, so Xander and Muir... Well, Xander's probably still going to work since it's essentially Z Xander ongoing. and Nid would, would, would still work because they are like ongoing, yeah. yeah. But any ones right. that are actively changing, so right. what is it? Um, Island. Stark Tower. I've actually played a Shadow King in a Cerebro deck to, in case any of your cards get buffed to bring them back down to three cost. Oh. So they were, I mean, it's not a, <laughs> it sounds cooler than it actually is, but yeah, that's, I guess that's another kind of. It's nice safe card, yeah. Mm. You know, you say that, that makes me think like, do we put this in a, a deck that's running Bost, right? Just because like sometimes we, accidentally bossed our magneto or something to give us a way to boss our hand to get those negative cards back up and still revert our powerhouse at the end of the game right mm. that's, a that's really what i was thinking with luke cage because yeah. if you like boss your your onslaught it, or something like you can actually just fix that back the, to its higher power but it's but the only, only the only issue board. yeah the right. only issue you're gonna have is uh you're gonna have to get him out on like turn seven at that point right because right yeah it's absolutely of six a magic a magic <laughs> deck for sure yeah so. that's it i think yeah that's so that's, that means, that's, that's the card <laughs> so, so, so i'm pretty so sure that. we all just said more words about shadow king than anyone else <laughs> than anyone has ever said <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so. yeah. i was gonna say so is this card a must buy of tokens or no. wait no. till you get the no. absolutely oh not no wow okay all right well January has certainly been a save for February kind of month. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. And then, of course, now we have the uh, new location that just started a new hot location. Um, it is called the wonderful Plunder Castle. Mm -hmm. How have you guys run into it? How do you guys feel about it? Um, what is your take on that wonderful location so far? I, I haven't really... been on the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> battle mode only and hot and featured locations don't show up there so i yeah. think i've ran into plunder once or twice I, I actually haven't even done dailies yesterday because of battle mode. oh that's a problem i'm running into as well <laughs> i checked my i checked my missions i was like i haven't done any of my missions what's going on yeah. i played snap after stream for the first time in like weeks yesterday <laughs> because i just did battle mode the whole time yeah yeah this is, uh, all right, so I guess I guess well, I'm the only one the only one playing ladder than um climbing. <laughs> <laughs> I've done I've done battle mode a couple times, but I'm I'm like two off. So I'm 98 and a half, 99, somewhere around in there. Um, but actually, you know, I, I like the location, but what's strange is it's making the meta be very weird right now because um uh because of this location, you know, coming up so often. So you got the people going with Galactus decks a lot. Which just seems like an obvious, but the problem with Galactus decks, as soon as you start to do it, they just they peace out. So it's like a one cube game when you win, and then when you lose, it's it's a big loss usually. Um, but it's been it's been pretty fun um, being able to kind of like use the big rampy decks. So not like Lockjaw, but having to use Electro essentially because Wave doesn't work with this location. So you right. have to make sure the card cost uh, six. So the location, and I can't think of it off the top of my head, that makes every six cost cost one less is like counterintuitive so. to this one. And I've had that happen no, a lot of times. I think it is. Wow. Tight. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, I've been biggest. playing around this location on ladder. Most of my decks don't have sixes in them mm -hmm. right now. So I just haven't been playing into it. Or <laughs> if it's been, if yeah. it's one of the unrevealed locations, I've been purposely playing in the two and three lanes to try and get stuff in there before it's revealed. Um, yeah, the, the Zabu decks are struggling on it for sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think something interesting that I haven't actually messed around with it too much myself, but similar to what Dan said, I think something cool you could do is uh, if you're running some sort of electro thing, like you could do electro and then uh, you could get it your, uh, if you skip, you could get your infinite out and then you could Zola mm -hmm. your infinite. That's yeah. kind of protection if it's on a, you know, on a lane where only sixes can be played. I mean, it's still vulnerable to like your arrow and stuff, but like that seems like, you know, if you want to. Mm -hmm quote unquote abuse of location if you don't have Galactus or whatever, that's kind of probably a consistent combo you can do. Yeah. To me this just screams Heimdall's a tech guard for yeah. forty eight hours. Mm. Just pop them in there and you're good. Yeah. There's there's Hope been a lot of dirt, uh, right? mm. Yeah, there there's been a lot of um uh Nightcrawler and Vision popping up yeah. that I've seen yeah. where people are trying to sneak into it when people don't have 
uh, eights or like claw, a lot of ongoing decks with claw or oh, Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, this is probably Patriot Ultron Country, too, isn't it? No. Yeah, yeah, that that was my first my first deck I was trying, but it just it wasn't consistent enough for me to actually like it. But uh, it seems pretty good. Yeah, see, I'm one of those players that's just climbing two cubes at a time with Galactus with this yeah. location. <laughs> yeah. um, but something <laughs> interesting I've seen against me is a uh, wave mm -hmm. being able to just lock your opponent out, even if they plan on playing something there. Turn six, oh, interesting. you play wave yep. five, you can't play nothing there. The deck that I've seen against me was, I forget, I think it was even wave, but they just waved on five and then Armazola the wave into the location mm -hmm. just to win it because there's no way you, anyone else could play anything in there. Yeah. So a lot of interesting stuff with this location for sure. Yeah. I've, I've actually been using Orca a lot with an ongoing deck. He's mm -hmm. been fun to throw over in that location because he's pretty massive when he's by himself. Oh, two firsts for, on this podcast. And somebody <laughs> playing Orca and people talking about Shadow King. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think wow. another really interesting piece about this location, specifically it being 48 hours, is unlike any other new location, I think, this one's not able to be gotten rid of by any location changers, right? Magic can't hit it, Scarlet, Rhino, nothing. About Quake's the only location disruption you get for 48 mm -hmm. hours. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. unless unless you're like tricky about it, can't you like um I don't Iron know Fist. when the when the triggers would happen, but yeah, like Iron Fist to On a reveals. Wanda to kick her over. On reveal happens first. Yeah, that's first. true. Yeah. That's right. Okay. The best you could do is like a an early Zola, yeah. Like if you Zola a, a a Scarlet Witch, that would be about it, but that's such commitment. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> I really that's don't be... like this location, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Do you guys yeah. think that in the long run, this location simply existing is going to hurt Zabu and Surfer, or will it just not show up frequently enough to hurt them in the latter? Uh, I don't think so. I, I don't think, think it rarity depends. is going to be that low or that. Yeah, it depends or, yeah. on yeah. the rarity of it, how yeah. often it shows up. It says uncommon. I don't oh, know what okay. that is un compared to like. That's, the... a, that's a question you guys should ask, Glute, uh, if you have any of the, the devs on, is uh, something mm -hmm. about how, I guess maybe like how they determine. You know, what's uncommon. uncommon or common or rarities? That'd be kind of interesting to, to know, I'd say. Mm. Now that makes sense. Mm. And then, of course, this week we had the wonderful patch and the battle mode um, rolled out. Um, first, we'll talk about the card balances. You guys, let me know how you feel. I mean, of course, everyone was, or I'm sure you guys felt the same way, were very upset with the meta um, the season before with Leech and Leader, especially Leader. And um, it getting that nerf it got, a lot of people were very upset that that wasn't really a nerf. And of course now it looks like he got a buff and a nerf. Um, but what do you guys feel about um, what happened to Leader becoming a 6-7 now and um, only copying all your opponent's cards played on a location to the right of your side? My gut was that I didn't like it. Um, it, it feels like Leader's been completely destroyed uh but i've i've started thinking about it a little bit more and maybe not destroyed but changed uh he's a good shuri target now which mm. i'd never thought about trying to shuri a leader before i'm I'm still trying to wrap my head around it because he i just don't think he's the same card right, at all yeah oh yeah. Well, yeah it was a complete rework but it needed to happen uh it, it was just incredibly overpowered. I think everybody knows my opinion on leader, the original <laughs> leader. Um, yeah, I mean, and that that has been a hard stop for me in a lot of climbs. But I, this feels like there's actually a way to counter it now, as far as arrow goes, that you can mm -hmm. actually stop leader. Yeah. Without trying to predict where to put your Cosmo, where previously that was the only way that you could counter it. So. Um, I'm not too bothered by it. Do I think the card is dead? I don't think so. I think that there are still uses, and I'm sure people will still use it, but it will not be able to be slotted into any deck that yeah. you feel anymore, which right. I think is what they were trying to fix. Yeah, I actually also like the flavor of them now, because before, Leader is a big brain. He always thinks about all the different things and, and how he can counteract it. And so 
what I don't like is the original version of him, just like everybody else. All you did was you always slotted him in, and as long as you were winning two locations or his three power put you up in two locations, you practically won the game. Not always because yeah. Surfer and some buffs and weirdness like that, but you know, 90% of the time. So I do like now that you actually have to think about the big brain play. One, you have to be predicting, am I going middle or am I going left? Because again, he's a dead card on the right. You're not going to play him there. But then... On the other side of that, if you think they're going to play leader, you just play on the left side, uh, and they're not going to get the card, right? So um, I, I think there's some cool stuff that they did with the flavor of the card, but it definitely is a different card. It's definitely a card that I, I don't think the the average snap player will will be able to use as much. I think you do have to think about how to use this card, and it's not the, the brain-dead play like it used to be. I think in, in general, too, it bodes well <clears throat> that they are willing to alter a card's ability this much mm-hmm. um i'm new newer to like a, a game by ben and chat like to tell me over and over up and down that ben doesn't change abilities so <laughs> for this to actually happen i think speaks well to the longevity of the game when you do yep. run into these cards that are such a massive problem to the meta we can hopefully count on second dinner to give us an out at some point and, and shake things up. So this, this bodes well, I think for next week's potential change with uh surfer and Zabu, not so, necessarily just being a power change of some sort to the ability, but we'll yeah. see. So I'm, I'm curious for you guys. So um, not, not going to those two yet, but we knew that leader was on the watch list and another card they said was on the watch list was Galactus. Uh, and now that we've seen like, the fact that they may alter the ability. I mean, what would your thoughts be that instead of him blowing up all of the other locations, he just blows up one, whether it's one to the left or one to the right, like they did with leader. Do you think that's something that would even seem viable or something they need to do with Galactus? Or do we think Galactus is fine the way he is? I'm of the opinion that I think Galactus is, is fine. Um, for a lot of reasons he's a lot he, like he was just so much more counterable than leader when you compare those two cards there's so many more ways to counter a galactus deck and also a big thing is um uh galactus is a lot more telegraphed right you can really tell when galactus is coming so like mm-hmm. even if you don't have a counter you can decide okay well i'm just gonna get out of here or I'm like, oh, okay maybe you can try and figure out am i gonna win or not with leader you would no idea or i mean you could probably say oh well it's turn 60 he's probably gonna play leader well, at least with Galactus, you kind of you could see him coming more, and um, there are more counters with like Arrow and like Magneto and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I I don't think it it needs a change. That's my opinion, but I'm curious to know your guys' opinion. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. I think that there it's very obvious when someone's going to play Galactus. But, <laughs> like all I did was play Galactus this season because I loved playing it so much, mm-hmm. but. Um, like I said, the fact that people were slotting leader into the most random decks, it was unpredictable to a point where I could no longer play tactically on a turn six thinking, okay, this deck is X, they must play X this last turn, and mm-hmm. then suddenly it's leader, and then you're, you've are you lost the game. So um, I don't think that Galactus does that at all, because if you aren't able to see that Galactus is coming out, then you haven't been paying attention. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I agree. I don't think Galactus needs to be changed, honestly. Um, but the fact that they changed leader, I totally agree with Val. That shows the longevity of the game. Mm-hmm. Um, some some people might take it as, you know, it's not fair or not fair, but not right to change a card's ability to that extent. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see what they do with um, Surfer and Zabu. I mean, personally, I don't think Zabu really needs a a change. Maybe Surfer from, you know, a little bit less adding more power, less power to those cards. But for Zabu, I mean, what else could they do? Make him a higher cost? Then maybe yeah. that will maybe that will fix the problem. But I don't think his ability should change. I yeah, think I think I that. my prediction there is I think uh, Surfer definitely comes down to a plus two instead of plus three, right. which me and Kyle were talking about the other day, too. And then uh, I think Zabu, the only thing kind of thinking through it, the only thing I can see them doing is making him a four drop. So you make them just a little bit less of being able to do that three into two four drops, and you just do a four into two four drops on your on your turn five. That's the only thing I can think makes him still viable, but maybe it's okay. 
I don't, yeah. I don't like it. Him, kind of pushes him into Mr. Negative territory. Yeah. Right? yeah. You're really looking to Psylocke, cheat him out early. It's kind of a high roll deck. Yeah. Um, and I also like it because if, if it's not being cheated out early, if it's being played on four, now you've got a chance to potentially Enchantress if you predict correctly. Mm -hmm. um, and Sandman's an actual counter now. Sandman yeah, didn't right. actually... Right. It wasn't the counter we thought it would be because you still got eight energy worth of cards on turn four before I could lay down Sandman. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. Agreed. I just I I worry about the uh, the knock on effect of leaving Zabu alone mm -hmm. and trying to tackle other cards to to counteract Zabu because I think that that has a domino effect that we saw with yeah. Magic and her getting pushed to turn five. And I think that's, you know, many people have said, I think Coco on the podcast said that was the knock on effect to really push leader and mm -hmm. push negative to need it, the four nerfs that he got at the same time. So <laughs> hopefully they just focus on Zabu and not everyone else. Yeah. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Like, cause I, you know, I feel like there's a, there's a chance you look at, your your double spider man with absorbing man and does does that need a change does absorbing man go up to a five like i don't want to see that change i think all of those tech cards that mm -hmm. we're getting destroyed with because of zabu are fine where they are i push yeah push that zabu up to four i think that's perfect i agree yeah i think i think a big thing that a lot of people in my chat are always saying are like oh well change brood to not make them this because brood is the problem this is the, the, the i i i 100 agree with you val changing other cards like that is not addressing the problem of the card you know what i mean i think changing surfer to a plus two will actually still make him a very much a playable card i really don't think that's like a bad change but i think the most important thing in my mind is since I've seen that they've made such a drastic change with leader, um, I do feel a little bit more confident, and obviously they've, they've spoken about these possible changes incoming, that they are going to change these season pass cards that people have bought. Because some people, I mean, listen, people yeah. are always going to complain that, oh, I just spent money on these cards and they're changing them. I'm, I want to say that I'm confident now to know that they will change these cards based purely on, purely on the data and not just be like, oh, well, people bought these cards, so we can't change these cards. You know what I mean? That's that's something that's extremely important because if they go away saying, oh, well, we're not going to change these cards because they're like they're they're fresh, that's not the right way to go about it. So I'm I'm confident from everything I'm seeing that um they are open to doing that for sure. That's such yeah. a like big uh debate that people are so concerned about. Mm -hmm. Oh, but they, mm. we paid money, shouldn't we yeah. get like they don't owe us anything? Like exactly. In the history of Hearthstone, they've literally Hall of Famed, like, <laughs> legendary cards that were insanely expensive yeah. and said, yeah. nope, sorry, can't play them anymore. So, yeah. I, I, honestly, I'm happy to see that they are trying to keep the cards in the game and make them work and not saying, okay, the card is just, like, disabled, you can't play it anymore. So, yep. yeah, it's, it, this so... is just the way it goes. And and what's weird is uh, kind of coming from streaming several mobile games over the last couple of years, What's crazy, though, is uh, to me specifically, because playing games, I never thought that you would get compensation, right? The, the scary word that everybody throws around. But like in those games, every time they change something, it would be people whining and complaining. And all of a sudden you'd get in your inbox like, here's some compensation, gold credits, whatever. But like here, I, I don't I don't know why that's a thing. I mean, I played Magic, so cards get banned on Arena. They're starting errata cards that are in standard like. Yeah, I, I think that the changes need to happen. Yes, it's kind of maybe make somebody leery of a new, you know, spending money on the next battle pass or, or whatever it is, but um, or the season pass. But honestly, I think you're already getting a lot out of that season pass. It's not just the one card. So, yeah, yeah I, I think they should do it. It's better for the meta. I totally understand. You have to put the $10 down to get the season pass and to get the card. The card is not a $10 card. Right, yeah. you get kickbacks, you get credits, you get gold, you get variants. Those variants are seven hundred gold each, right? Two mm -hmm. or three of them, they're ten bucks in the shop alone. Yeah. So I, I, I also think like maybe we're putting that price tag just on the card, and that's really not what the season pass is. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think they've done a good job of putting it out there that, you know, the no refund thing with the token shop and stuff like that. I think. <laughs> I think that's good to let people know. I've played card games for 20 years and th starting to move card games into the digital space. This is one of the things that they were like, this is a good thing because 
if a card is busted, is overtuned, they can mm-hmm. change it. And you don't, it's not magic where there's 900 pages of different word changes of cards over the years and you have to keep up with what slight word or they moved a comma or something. Um, yeah, this is just a part of the digital age of card games. They're going to change cards. I would, I hate this change to leader. Leader is one of my favorite cards. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but I understand that it needed to be done. There's me versus, you know, all the other players. So I'll take it. It's fine. But yes, it's definitely something I think people have to get used to that, you know, this is a plus for digital card games. The fact that they can change cards when they become a problem. Mm -hmm. And get used to it quick, right? Because a big plus is they've confirmed they can do this server side now. No more patches. And that's, that's a real, real big a just adrenaline shot into the arm for snap because they're going to be able to iterate and push it around. And every time that everybody's saying, Oh, the meta is stale. Well, now they can address that in a fast way. Yeah. I will say, I will say though, they do need to be a little cautious or careful in the fact of how quickly uh, yeah. they respond to stuff and, or um, like how many changes, right? Cause that's the one thing we don't want to get is Monday morning comes around. We get this giant passion thing and six cards have changed. Right. And like, several decks that people are playing they can't play anymore but i love the fact that they can address that when we have a meta that becomes really stale just like uh, lou was saying i'm i come from magic 20 plus years and there was several standard seasons where you just didn't want to play because it was here's the deck you have to play and this is all you can do or you have to completely build a deck specifically to beat that one deck out and it just it got stale a lot of people don't like standard and so here it's one of those things where i'm glad that they can do it that's just the only, you know, word of caution is how often you do it so that people don't, you know, get upset that every time they make a deck the next week, they can't play it. Yeah. And see, I think that brings up another good point too. You're talking about magic, like people are like, oh, you shouldn't change cards or whatever. Well, in magic, if leader was so busted, they would just ban it. You can't play with it at all. Mm-hmm. And now, just like Jesse was talking about, you can play it now with cheery. You can play, find a new way to play the card. From the changes they do, and you still play with the card without just removing the card completely. So, does yeah, this like, give hope to Psylocke or a Cyclops? No, yeah, yeah, Cyclops. So. Will, will he get reworked and get an ability? I hope so. <laughs> he's Good got graphic. an ability, he shoots a beam. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looks he's, got, he's got an ability, he just sits around and waits for Patriot. Come on now, <laughs> no, he's search, search him, in, search him. He's got a move ability, it says it right there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do think it's hilarious that you bring that up because in the patch notes for the second card we're going to talk about yeah. that got changed is in the devs' notes that they said, yeah. Oh, Wolverine's seen so little play and it's such an iconic card. And I've already seen the memes right. of Cyclops being like, am I a joke to you? <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Oh. Which does bring us to the next card, which is Wolverine, who definitely got an amazing buff. Um, getting plus two power now when it's discarded or destroyed. Um, I think it should always get plus two every time it is destroyed. That would be, I think, better yeah. for it. Um, well, and, and doesn't this also... Um, uh, do the issue where people were saying like when he was being was it when he was discarded or just when he was killed from the deck did they fix that part too i haven't had that happen to me yet with wolverine yeah does he still die or does he come back now it probably will still i think i think uh, he's he's gone it's it heads yondu's so freaking weird because it's remove and it uses the common grave it's it's like that card goes where Hulkbuster goes in the game's data. It's so <laughs> freaking weird. I will I will say I know, I actually know for a fact uh, that Yondu, I don't know, it might have even been before beta, but Yondu at one stage did actually read destroy rather than remove. Yeah. I'm really interested as to why they actually made that change like to, mm-hmm. to the wording. That's probably its own other kind of tangent, but um, yeah. Did it it is, Ben also confirm to Binks on Twitter that the, the Yon, there's a Yondu fix coming? They said that a long time ago. There Unless there was something, something said recently. It was within the last two months that, like, I don't know if it's a text change to mm. make things more clear or if it is going to be adding, like, actually making it destroy again. But there was something 
Ben definitely said something. Yeah, he was familiar. About how it yeah. wasn't it was an unintended effect that it worked with death. I think it was specific to that. Okay. But I don't think he would clarify it what that meant that what they were going to do about it. So mm, yeah. Interesting. yeah, I know a long time ago in the ass devs, I'm like summer months for sure. Uh, someone asked about the interaction with death and Yondu. And I think it was Ben, it may have been another dev, but they did say Yondu was either going to get worded differently or they were going to change how it worked. Neither has happened yet. So I'm not yeah. sure what's going on with that, but that, it was a long time ago. They said something like that. Yeah. Going going back to Wolverine though, I will say I had a really cool interaction uh, just to make sure everybody understands that with Galactus uh, again with the new location. Now, if he were to be, let's say uh, you play Galactus on the right, Wolverine's on the left. If he dies on the left and moves to the middle and dies again, he gets another buff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what's kind of cool about him too. Is if uh, even in that same turn, if he can be killed a couple times, like. Um, Maybe you put him on Carmitage with a Carnage, and he dies the first time, comes back and dies the second time. Um, he comes back to the same location. So it is kind of cool to, to see how big you can actually make Wolverine rather than just kind of the one the one kill, right? The one buff. It is funny, though, to like talk about the, the Galactus pairing. Mm -hmm. Because when the Galactus nerf happened, it was kind of like, all right, sick. I'm actually going to ditch Wolverine now for a while mm -hmm. because I can throw priority super easy. So this almost feels like sort of an answer to that at the same time of mm -hmm. being like, all right, well, it, you can still run Wolverine and like you have that one less power to maybe throw priority. But now if you hit Wolverine twice, you are no longer throwing power. There's a really good chance that you will be taking mm -hmm. priority with Galactus and your null or your destroyer or anything is now at risk for that shang chi so. that's that's why you want plumber's castle man so just get that wolverine over there and then you play null right after Truth. it and you got Truth. it no more leader baby no more leader <laughs> and then of course we have um the most anticipated thing for the patch which is the battle mode um i'm sure you guys spent a plethora of time with it yesterday um before we go right into it what what do you guys take on it so far? Was it everything you guys wanted it to be? Is it missing anything? Should it be anything should be added to it? Call us big grin. <laughs> Beautiful. I, 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 I love this mode. I, I said, I think I said it in chat yesterday. I like, I'm going to be bronze rank for the rest of my snap career. Like <laughs> I'm going to just stay in battle mode. It's so much fun. The potential for even just like uh, different formats in it. That you can make up with your friends and stuff is 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 amazing like uh I, I know this again it's a whole separate thing but like you can do open deck list tournaments or or closed deck lists and it's actually i, I will say um for anyone right well for anyone that doesn't know open deck lists as you see your opponent's deck closes you don't um open deck list might sound a little bit strange to some people they'd be like oh i know my opponent's deck that's really strange but um, chess, it baby. is it, exactly it is it is incredibly fun like the the mind games and the strategy i think is just like multiplied by 10 when you have an open deck list format um but uh, yeah i get I, I won't talk about it for too long but it's it's everything i wanted it to be and more i know everyone's jumping at the bit so i'm gonna let someone else jump on in a second but kawa i do want to you talk about playing battle mode forever did you pay attention to ask the devs in the official discord today i did not sir it was confirmed. Someone asked about it. It is confirmed that there is a competitive battle mode coming. So Let's whatever go. that means, it's very vague. Two ladders, but, all right. <laughs> but, but they said a competitive yes. battle mode. So awesome, yeah. interesting. Um, <clears throat> I am. I enjoy it. So I'm sort of on this like middle of the fence about not being able to change your deck. In between games, I understand why not, because in a competitive setting, okay, but also it's like, why not? <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of lost there, because I want to be able to change decks in between games, at least have, like, to choose between three decks that I'm going to pick from, and then be able to change it there. Uh, because if I don't know what my opponent is going to play, I want to be able to try to counter them and they should be able to try to counter me too. Right. At, yeah. at least that's what I think. And it can drag on for a while. I mean, like Kawa and I think we battled for like a half hour, 45 minutes yeah. and we played the same decks over and over and over again to the to point where it wasn't like a surprise anymore of what the person was going to play. And I feel like that makes it kind of stale. 
Um, and having to concede then back out just to change your deck is also kind of annoying. So I feel like there are some things that need to be changed in that situation. I'd like a mode, yeah, where you could choose like two decks. You know, I don't. I don't think that even needs really? to be a mode. I think that could absolutely be. I mean, you're creating a private room, right? So mm -hmm. there's yeah. there's mm -hmm. no reason why you can't have settings to those rooms. Like, right. I I that's think that's great. a matter of that time. Idea. I yeah. think mm -hmm. they wanted to get this mm -hmm. out there, and I I hope that they are going to put a lot of options for you to be able to really customize it uh, for just friendly battles, but also for tournaments and stuff. Yeah. I would love some way to set a hot location or I want these 20 locations yeah. to locations, be the yeah. only locations that can spawn. I think they could do a lot of stuff with it. I think the way that they've seen, they like to put stuff in the game, get battle mode out so everyone can start playing it. And then as we go forward, I imagine we'll get more and more features, especially if it's something everyone's asking for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've, I've been thoroughly impressed with second dinners, like release and development philosophy, right? minimum viable product to get the base functionality in there iterate over it collect feedback from the community i think the battle mode was absolutely like perfectly done in that regard get it in there get more feedback hear about wanting to change decks uh build that into the next competitive battle mode ladder a um, couple of small low-hanging fruits i would like to see qr code and qr code reader um, it, it is. It would be kind of nice when I'm in real life to not have to call out the number and just hold up my phone and get a scan. That was like the first thing that I thought of when I actually played in real life. I like that. I like that one. Yeah. Or maybe even spectator mode, I think. Oh, yeah, God, yes. That, that way, when that's the one thing we need. Oh, my God, yeah. yes. But that's, that's kind of a... That's, that's, I was talking to this about somebody as well. That's kind of a whole uh, separate thing, which I'm sure they're working on, but just simply adding... A spectator mode again unless they just do it via code i guess you, I think, I guess you, you could do that but it's kind right. of like if people are expecting a friends list or or a social system because we don't log in to the game using a second dinner account it's a google account mm -hmm. or it's an ios not even a steam account but we so do have, have ids that. though we do have ids yeah we that's have true. ids that's true uh but i mean that's a whole different thing. Like yeah, that's exactly new yeah. that's when new think... ui that they have to build that's like a new uh like aspect ratio too to be able to show both hands so it doesn't it's not as simple as people are just saying like just add some mode. yeah, so mm -hmm. that's, yeah. That's i think wild down the road i think honestly what we're gonna see uh is a third party come in like untapped like snap fan if we already have deck trackers that can update in real time and have match history capabilities like snap mm -hmm. fan can read you turn by turn what's happening on the board Mm -hmm. There's no reason that they can't turn that into a spectator mode of sorts. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, I, I think there's a lot of potential for somebody to come in and do what second dinner is not. And then as streamers, we have like that. It, it's really hard to play viewers right now and just yeah. kind of take their word for not cheating. <laughs> Yeah, and like Let's, you gotta you gotta cover exactly. your screen a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I was playing on a delay last night just There's to try to make it yeah. slightly viable, but ten seconds it still isn't even that it's, much. It's not a lot when when the whole turn is forty five seconds. Like it's mm -hmm. right. well, even even on a delay, it's hard because they can see your opening hand. They can see what six drop you have that you're waiting to use. Yeah. Um, they can see if you if you put the screen code up and you just yeah. tell chat to take the screen code, your deck is right there. So if it's named. And yeah. it's a deck that Chad is familiar with. You've already given it away. Big yeah. time want that. I big time want to be selecting my deck after I hit join. The, yeah. mini, the, the times that I've just been like, oh, yes, I'm going to join real quick and end up bringing oh, yeah, my liquor deck in. Y'all yeah. are really overlooking the chance to mess with snipers. Name your deck, you know, Galactus <laughs> Thor deck. And definitely like, Agatha. Really yeah. throw those. Yes, great. definitely yeah. Agatha. <laughs> uh, but uh, talking about the spectator mode, I imagine that uh, I know that they've said, I don't remember which one, if they are actively working on a friends list or working on. Yeah, I think, like, I think they mentioned the, that. Yeah, or if it's more in the development stage of how they want to do a friends list. But I imagine once if we do get a friends list, um, I imagine it's going to work similar to Hearthstone where you can just have friends and then click on them and spectate their match. Um, that I, would I think would be that. the easiest and best way to do it. Yeah. I, I imagine that'll probably be something that's paired also with this, um, 
competitive mode because if they're going to bring a competitive mode, they know they already know this is going to be like a esports type thing, right? We'll figure out what level it's going to be, but everybody's going to want to do these tournaments. I know. Uh, I'm sure we'll talk about another tournament a little bit later, but um, you know, th- there's all these things happening and, and people are trying to push it. So spectator mode makes perfect sense for that. They know that that's what they want because even with this release, they even showed like in that video, right? Brackets and things like that. I mean, like, look, people are going to do this and, and streamers are going to take it over. So I- I'm sure it's on their list as they go. And I, I know Val's talked about this before, like second dinner's mentality around just positive reinforcement, creating a good culture, right? That's why they took the defeat yelling at you out. Um, Mm -hmm. I think they're probably being very meticulous about a friends list because how many times have you gotten a direct uh, friends request after a Hearthstone match just to get raged at, low, low, always lucky, and then unfriended? (laughs) I usually add to tell them I like their their deck to find out what they are playing. I don't I think I've that. ever like. That's because you're a nice person, eggs. That's why. I don't think I've ever seen somebody in DMs, but yes, I got that a lot, especially in yeah. Overwatch. But like, yes, obviously not a card game. But I I don't think they would add a messaging feature, especially if they're trying to lean in this game is for everyone, you know. So mm-hmm. I don't think that's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. So I I think the only other comment I have around like battle mode again, I've played couple matches uh yesterday with a few people but um the biggest thing is for the for the people that are out there kind of playing it i do think there's a few decks that are harder to play during this because of kind of what eggs was talking about before when you're playing the same deck five games six games seven games uh depending games. how well you're going it's oh. it's hard right like there there's cards like galactus or whatever so you can't use the linear Galactus deck that you may be able to use on ladder. Now you have to throw in a couple extra cards to where Galactus isn't your only finisher, right? So you're able to play the deck slightly different. So I do like the fact that it is opening up the meta. It is opening up how you build a deck because you can't just build that super linear deck that you win on ladder because people aren't expecting it or they can't build for it. But then when you're, you know, eight games into it and they know, okay, well, here comes Galactus. Let me do my arrow play or my Cosmo right here. Right. You know. No, I agree. It's just like being stuck playing someone that has Killmonger and you have a Zoo deck or Ultron. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Mm-hmm. They just wait till the last turn, play Killmonger. You know, the match is over. So I totally agree. Yeah. I, I hope they allow you to either even not be able to add more decks, but probably even have like a, a trunk of cards where you say, All right, here's six co- right that I can put yeah. in. Someone like Yu Gi Oh. Right. Exactly. So that'd be a cool feature i hope they do that but um yeah yeah no i mean i played yeah. a few yesterday too me and kawa had a great matchup oh man. like 131k of visible woman but <laughs> <laughs> that, it has its fun parts it's, it was definitely fun um i can't wait for you guys to come to new york and we do this in real life it's gonna be fun too can't wait to see what happens there. two weeks guys two weeks it's crazy it's, 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 it's crazy it's creeping up i really gotta buy a bus ticket crap <laughs> <laughs> yes do that <laughs> yes you do um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely a f- huge potential for Batamo, and I can't wait to see what they do next with it. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about Batamo before we dive into the next um, one of my favorite segments? I'm all good. Yep. So, um, what we'd like to do is discuss um, variants. So, I know there are some new variants coming out with the new season, the upcoming season. Um, I'm sorry if you guys already seen it. If you guys don't want to see it, please close your eyes a little bit. We're going to scroll down to it. Um, close your eyes. And if you're listening, close your ears. Close right? your ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next season we have, which I was surprised to see, um, Nimrod, Wolverine, the Sentinels. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, we already know what Nimrod does. We did mention it on the last stream. Uh, I think um, we called Nim- this, actually. Yeah. We, we I think we did. called Days of Future Past because it just yes. makes sense with Nimrod. Exactly. So this is pretty cool. Cannot wait to see this. Love the variants. I mean, even the Sentinel variants right here is amazing. The card I backs. I love both of those card backs. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah. I hope they're still in the battle pass um, because like Kawa said, it's going to be hard to try to play infinite or try to play rank if you play <laughs> battle mode all day long. Um, Wolverine, this variant looks sick as well. Uh, but there are some better Wolverine variants that we're going to discuss. Um, but before I go through that list of variants down below, um, we're going to go through the ones that you guys picked. Um, so just real quick, I just imagined that that Sentinel getting the infinite gold reward version. 
the just wow. gold armor on there. Oh yes. gosh! I, oh, I, I was expecting yes. the X to be the gold one. Gold one. That's yeah. Too. Yeah, mm. I think the X would be the gold one, which I think would be really sick. That would be awesome. Oh, Where's my claws? Oh, I want my claws right now. I want to use them. <laughs> so bad. Oh, That's true. Man. How long we got? Oh, but probably when the season's over. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Season end reward. Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll go through the list. So I'm on the top. So we'll start with mine, of course. Sorry, but uh. The new variant that I see that I kind of, uh, I think is amazing, is Electro's new variant. So pull this up for you guys to see it. This is a sick Electro. Oh by, wow! I, of course, one of our artists, Kim, he has some awesome cards, but this Electro looks phenomenal. Um, you guys know what Electro does, but that's one of the new variants that'll be in the game. Can't wait to see it. I have every um, single Electro, so I'm assuming this will yes. be in my <laughs> collection 100%. pretty soon. Not by choice. Um, the game just thinks I love this card for some reason. So. Like, I think this is. I think this one was one of the best ones. Yeah, yeah, that's so the one I run. I run yeah. yeah, definitely. So now, and any of these is twelve hundred. Interesting. No, I was None just looking them. at that. Wow, Do you think okay. this is the twelve hundred version? Got, it has to be. Could be. Definitely, yeah. definitely has. It's to a be. Kim. It's it's. Are there any yeah. Kims that are only seven? Mm, that's interesting. a good question. Maybe. Maybe there is. All right. And then, of course, now we have Val's. Let's see what that one looks like. And then Val can explain why he chose this amazing variant. So Val loves this Psylocke variant, which looks sick. I can't, I must Dude, say, Peach. Psylocke only has one bad variant. Every, every other variant is fucking gorgeous and it's, yes. it's what's, that weird what's proportion the one on the, the second <laughs> the one to the right that one down that's, oh not that one not well that's that bad is, that's bad i know the arm body. in that one is weird but like the proportions on that one just weird me out i i don't this like one it. here <laughs> yeah when it goes 3d i just don't like it okay every other card beautiful and peach momoko is like quickly becoming one of my favorite artists in the game I absolutely love their style. Um, just like the more watercolor variants we get in the game, the better. I think. I think that's yeah. a big reason I love Ryan so much. Um, this it's just gorgeous. I can't wait to see that scarf flow, baby. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, yes, you're right. <laughs> that's why I love think? the scarf in the twelve hundred one for her. Oh that's man, my favorite. Mm -hmm. So we thinking the scarf is gonna flow, not the art back here. I think everything. I'll say everything, yeah. Say everything, everything. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Be wavy, yeah. yeah. All right, so let's see how that goes. Then we have Loot's pick. All right, Loot. So while you're pulling that up, but just to confirm, uh, Kim, all the variants currently in the game are 1,200 or is in a bundle or season pass, except for the Colleen Wing is 700. That's the only okay. one that is non-super rare. I mean, it is calling Wing, so. Really? So they all are going to be your point? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, it's a frog. What's, exactly. What's her point? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Luke, why did you choose the awesome so poor frog? So, I have a special place in my heart for frog. anything that really stands out and like mixes it up. My favorite Thor before this one, this is my favorite Thor now. But was the baby one just because it had the Loki and yeah. chasing them? Like I, I just really like anything that's unique. Like the other ones, they all look like badass Thor. Um, so it mixes it up. So the Frog Thor just really like that. Uh, that's also my favorite Valkyrie art, the one where Valkyrie. Oh, I have like that one. Yeah. Squeezing yeah. Frog uh, Thor. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is Thor. Uh, frog. frog. Yeah. Which it makes me sad that we won't get a throg though. That's yeah. the only thing. Yeah. 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 That's interesting. He should yeah. Should give him his own card, but that's fine. He actually just, they actually had a did. um um a call out to it in the Loki series. So yeah. That's pretty cool. Right. He is technically um, not Thor, right? He is technically yeah. a different character. Correct. So. Correct. so he should have his own card. I'm just uh super excited for if they do add uh, variants for tokens. I want my little frog with the hammer for the money. We were we were tokens teased that, right? We got a yeah, like iron squirrel. The, I don't know. If, I don't know if that's so much a yeah. tease as it is just the idea of a Hulkbuster hitting a squirrel. Oh, yeah, it's, okay. It's, it's, that, that might have just been a call out for. Gets to be their own card. Yeah. 
Well, so I think tippy toes can be their their own <laughs> uh, <laughs> hero. So I don't. Know. I think. Um, well, and I think they kind of mentioned like it's it's something they've thought about, but it's not really on their like list of things right now right. because of what it would entail. Which honestly, it's a lot of art. But outside of that, you know, so I guess you'd have to go back to every one of those artists that created a card that have. That's yeah, the thing. You know. I think if they do tokens, they treat it uh, entirely separately. Like maybe yeah. there's a couple that match, but honestly, like you would mm -hmm. just see a totally new piece of art in whatever style that artist wants to make. And then you pick that variant to attach to that card. If they did that, do you well, think they would sell it cheaper than 700? Yeah. Yeah. I could they see should. that. Yeah. I think so. I that. They should. Mm. Like variants they'd are 100 to, gold or something. Yeah. They'd have to redo the infinite split system, right? Because tokens carry over your Inkify effect, but if you had a separate card dedicated to it, now you're splitting that instead. Oh, yeah. It's true. It would probably just hold yeah. to th yeah. what, your main card, I would assume. Oh, so you mean... So tokens yeah, wouldn't sense. be splittable at all. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. And then we have Goose, which is Kawa's pick. For one of the new variants, Kyle, why did you like this? I never thought we'd see a venomized goose, but it looks really cool. <laughs> I want to pet it. Yeah, it's also it's also <laughs> really, really it's really it's really cool that uh, it has like this the venomized tongue because it's like a it's a flurkin, so its tongue is kind of like supposed to look like that anyways, which right. is kind mm. of kind of funny. So yeah, I think that's that's awesome for sure. That's pretty cool. Totally agree with that. Big symbiote um, fan. Yeah, look at that. Any other twelve? This is the twelve hundred one, which is pretty cool. I like that one too. That's my favorite. That's the one I mm. run. Mm -hmm. I love goose in general. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. the one I use. I like the Dan Hip one. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I still it's haven't seen that one, but that's like a snap really? by when it finally shows up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. All right. And then we have eggs. Okay. Let's see what the eggs shows here. <laughs> wow. Okay. She chose a leader variant. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> of no, just base card leader, actually. <laughs> just base, card leader. Just base card. card leader. Exactly. Um, she went with Bass. This Bass is oh, this is a really variant. cool variant. Yeah. I think this wow. is gonna look so cool leveled up. I feel yeah. like it's gonna just be like bioluminescent. Wow. It's gonna be really sick. That's that's gonna be one of those ones that you split over and over, just looking for that perfect oh, flare. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, and Bast really is hurting for a good variant. Like the Dan Hip is good, but God, that pixel! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh man! Oh my goodness, that is horrible. I totally agree. Um, yeah, I, I'm assuming it will be 1200 because this. Oh, for so sure. Good. It has yeah. to be. Wow. And the good the good thing about that one too is the Infinity Border will actually look really good. Yeah, on it too. that's exactly what I was just thinking too. Yeah. I hope next pass they allow us to change the borders like they've been talking. I would about. love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that'd be awesome. I mean, finally we got to change our names, guys. So I'm pretty happy about that. I I was <laughs> just about to say, Ken, you already got your wish list. You can't get yeah, I did. anything else. <laughs> I did. You know what? You're right. That's clear. That is very. Uh, clear. Have y'all have y'all seen some of the funny names out there? Of They're people, pretty good. Uh, I saw yeah. some on Reddit yeah. today. Yeah. Yes. So. With the um with the titles, which is yeah yeah. yeah yeah. yeah. Or with the emotes, someone called himself confident and then did the emote, I am confident. Like, I am confident. So. Or losing. I am yeah. losing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Then we have GC's pick. Let's see what we got. GC went with Armin Zola. Wow, this is a different Armin Zola. Okay. Not mm. bad. Yeah. Well, Dan yeah. Hip doesn't play. There you go. Fan, is... fan of the Dan Hips. Um, oh, yeah. And I don't have a Zola variant yet, so I was just like, you know, something this would slot in perfectly because honestly, like I know everyone likes the the one on the middle um, left there. Yeah, uh, yeah I, that's I the one I, I have. Just, I just yeah. it doesn't speak to me. I've passed it in my shop it two or three times. I have the GB is just not chibi enough. I have that one too. Interesting. I've never seen this one. The pixel. I don't think I have either. I'm I don't big, think it's in um, game right yet. Okay. Because it says yeah, unknown that's source. Cool. Yeah, oh, that's true. Mm. That's true. It reminds me of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles King. In, yeah. Yes. In that yes. one. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Agreed. Oh, that's a good pick. I like that one too. That's a good yeah. hit. A real cool By the way, I, energy. I, I've, yes, I've never paid attention to it. That chibi one definitely is not chibi enough. It looks it's like not chibi. it looks no, like a prison variant. It looks like wearing an orange jumpsuit or something. Yeah, I don't see that as chibi at all. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. no, not at all. Uh, yeah, I'm a big, course. I'm a big fan of. Uh, sorry, I'm just a big fan of the, oh, yeah. the actual base Zola. I have him with a gold background, and I think it just looks 
super, super mm-hmm. clean, yeah. Oh, wow. And then default Dan with his pick. Yeah, yeah. You know, we got to do more Dan's because Dan is, wow. of course, the best oh, name wow. there. <laughs> um, and I went with stature. So, again, I, I'm collecting all the Dan hips. I still feel like the um, the shop should, like, prefer cards and show you the cards that you are purchasing so you can more of that variant. But, um, but no, I, I liked I like stature. Uh, and I just like the card. I think this card will be really good next month when it drops, especially with so many people in the uh, Zabu decks playing um, Sif now with a Sif Ghost Rider combo, mm-hmm. and then of course Hella decks and things like that. So yeah, can this this will be a pickup. Can you go to the base one? I haven't seen this card yet. That's yeah, so, so cute. So essentially, it's a it's a what, five seven, but if they discard a card, it's a one seven. That's so awesome. interesting. So you can also like potentially use it with, um, uh, is it Moon Knight, Knight, where you can make them discard something and hope hope you don't discard her. I think this card is secretly OP. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I think it's like really really good. You compare it to something like Miles, it's permanent, whereas Miles isn't permanent. Miles Mm -hmm. just has to move the last turn. Whereas if you discard anything and you top deck stature, she's just a a maw basically without with no downside. I feel like Mm -hmm. we see that power come down in time, probably for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then she becomes a one cost if you do Kazar. Does she get that buff? Ooh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. It depends if when she goes right. onto the field, if she stays a one or not. I right. don't some of those... think she should. I think Kazar just does it based off of base. With the original one. It, does, yeah. it would depend on how it reads. If it's a one cost card or if it's a card that costs one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, it just says cost it one cost if... One. Then yeah. I believe it would stay as a five cost. Yeah, because yeah, Miles does that. When you put him down, he goes back up. Right. Mm-hmm. Or we'll go back down. I don't know. Does he still go back down, like uh, stat wise, if a card moves? Remember, he used to just constantly change if cards were moving on the field. Oh, yeah. Like, he would, like you could hear him. If, if, it was a high, if it was a Heimdall, every card would be like a little Miles like uh, yeah. sound indicator. <laughs> yeah. Now, Miles is definitely a card that could use a little bit of a buff. What do you think about kind of adding synergy and the way statue works is as long as they discarded a card, it reduces the one. Do you think Miles would be broken if it was if a card is moved that game, it becomes one? Is that too yeah, strong? I think it's pretty strong. As as the more move stuff. cards get added to the game, yes. I think if if we didn't have like, you know, Ghost Spider coming as well and then just in general, I think second editor probably would realize that more move cards are needed right now that might be one of the lowest played archetypes mm-hmm. in general Fair what enough. they do is they did state it's actually uh one of like the like best not, not not one of the, one of the best but one of the most statistically like, how, one yeah, of the best statistically yeah. like if you can actually do yeah. it correctly and stuff like the pop off is insane which is completely true but movement movement for me personally is just too big brain i can't i can't <laughs> handle it like <laughs> and i i think it it's really shines in your um your second series decks Right, so like uh, once you get into series three, there's a lot of stuff that can prevent it and change it. Yeah, but like when you're when you're building up your collection, they do really well in that series two uh, kind of bracket. And so I'm wondering if those stats and everything they're looking at are a lot of people playing in that bracket as well. And so you don't really have series three when everybody gets their Wong or you know um, Mystique, they're like onto the next deck. I, I think a lot of people in series two when you are up against move decks. Um, it mm-hmm. is very much a moment. It, it takes, it takes time to learn how that's going to pop off. Yeah. So you look at it and you go, I, I know what's coming and I don't understand how much power it's going to have. So I'm dipping because I don't think I'm going to win against this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know hard. where to play. So yeah. Yeah, it's but kind of easy back- to just, I was just saying, it's kind of easy to just see like Wong, right? And you, you know, mm-hmm. even if you don't play a Wong deck, you can see that on the other end. You have to play a move deck, I feel, to really understand your options on move and then be able to play against it. Yeah, yeah. But going back to that uh, first question with Miles, I think that if Miles stayed that way, then you'd see a lot of Nightcrawlers. Because, like, there's not that many great one-drop cards. I mean, you have Sunspot, you have Ant-Man in certain decks and things like that. But I think you would just see more people just being like, okay, well, I'm going to throw in Nightcrawler, move them one time, you know, on turn two, and then all of a sudden, if I draw Miles, he's you know, a big card for one power or for one energy. So I think it would be a little more busted if he stayed that way the whole time. Cool. 
No, that's fair. That makes sense. Um, either way, I think Miles does need some love, though. Maybe he gets mm -hmm. higher power. Um, yeah. Because definitely that card was a battle pass card that, of course, nobody complained mm -hmm. about because <laughs> he definitely needed a buff. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, now we have some new upcoming upcoming bundles coming out next year. Hey. Um, this one looks like it comes with actually 3,000 collector's tokens. So that's huge because, you know, most of the bundles that came out recently had no tokens. Mm -hmm. um, so that miss, this missing negative looks pretty good, too. Hmm. Yeah, that's dope. I like the style. Yeah, so that's going to be awesome for it to come out um, the seven, between the 7 and 28. So that's real soon. we got six days. Um, so 3,000 to collector's tokens is pretty good, especially for all the Series um, 4 cars that went down. Um, so a series five that went to series four, at least you can buy one of those cars now if you want, whether it be super scroll, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's pretty good. Um, six thousand credits, eight thousand gold, and this awesome variant. I think that's pretty good. Well, so eight thousand gold is the cost, it's a hundred dollar yeah, bundle. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that's a, a hundred dollar apocalypse bundle thing. Wow, yep. wow, it's really wow, that's crazy. Yep, the one, the one thing I will wow. say is it is uh. It is good that all of these upcoming bundles that we're going to see here, they all do cost gold. So there's none that are just going to be straight up monies. Money. So if you mm -hmm. really want it and you want to save your gold, at least you have that option. But yeah, it is an expensive bundle for sure. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it, but I'm still going to buy it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the tokens, I think the tokens, there's a oh, yeah. pretty high value on those. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. These next two where, months, especially. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, this Scarlet Witch and Vision is pretty good too. I haven't been gonna lie. Look at that. Yeah, the witch is dope. That's a purchase for for loot for sure. You know, he's a big fan of those two characters. Vision, not so Absolutely. much. Yeah, Concrete yeah. I'm not. I'm not a. Much. I'm not a fan of that Vision. He looks like a PlayStation One game character or something. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, right, you do actually. know the worst art in the game is a Vision card, but it's not this one, right? Which one? <laughs> oh, Scroll see, down. Uh, it looks incomplete. Point, point it out when you this see one? It. this one. Yeah, <laughs> what is that? Click he's, on it. He's fading. He's yeah. 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 He, you can yeah. see his his leg on the bottom. He's phasing through. This yeah, one. Have it's you terrible. ever picked up a vision and moved him it's around? Terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. And seen yeah, yeah. He has the uh, the great. He has like the he moves. Stop. <laughs> he, has, he has like the uh, like kind of like grid like uh, grid lines, isn't it? Val or yeah. like he, like he, like uh, he goes like tra like, uh, like like kind of transparent down here. If you look at the other visions, they all look like art for this game. This looks like someone snipping tooled it out of a comic book. It just you see it looks like it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it looks good when it's 3D loot. Mm. I, I this is the only one I own. I have it in 3D and it does not. <laughs> <laughs> he said you're wrong, respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, yeah, let's see what we okay. So this is Valentine's Day, which makes sense. I realize mm -hmm. that now, so that's awesome. Um, it costs two thousand gold. Um, you get a title. Oh, that's not bad. That's, that's not bad. At yeah, all. two, okay, two. Two. The next bundle is on Valentine's Day as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, all oh, three nice. of them have like Valentine's Day. Oh, well, that's pretty but, good. But I guess, I guess with this though, right? There's, there's no uh, credits or anything with it. It's literally, two. no. It's just variants. Just, yeah, just, just titles and variants. So. Mm -hmm. that did, that and what good. are they? They're two thousand gold. The yeah, Alexa. so basically yeah, two old That booty though. Yeah, she's You're thick. Cool. You're right. It's a thick electric. She is thick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is my favorite one so yeah, far. Yeah, it's, it's no, it's no Electra's Daredevil variant. Yeah. Though, so. I don't know. I have the the Adi uh, Grenov one right above that. That one's yeah. a sick one. I love anything yeah. that has. That was like, one of those ones that like had really messed stuff up that art comes off the card for a while, right? Yeah. Wasn't something really messed up with that card? I don't remember what it was. Something so. like her arm or something was something like you would move the card yeah. and there was a perspective problem, but I think they fixed it. How do you guys feel about um Electra? I can't actually tell you the last time I've seen one because Killmonger's in the game. Needs, it's just like a serious one, you know? Yeah. Serious one. Agreed. It's just like yeah. I think the point. I think the last time I saw her was I played Shauna and she actually helped me. That's the only that's pretty much the only time <laughs> I've seen her. Yeah. Uh Cerebro mm -hmm. one, uh well, of course, <laughs> the game. Yeah. I did. I did get one off of. Uh, I was playing against um, guest in battle mode yesterday, and uh, I uh, lady sif my helicarrier. I got one in hand, and he happened to have a sunspot, and I was like, "Okay, well, oh. here's the electric <laughs> value." Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe she should be a zero cost. This way, Killmonger can't kill her. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, that's, I think no. that's a little broken, actually. If we're going to talk about the stuff so? swap for zero. Oh, yeah. my God. Because zero, zero. You just, no well, you just hold her to the last turn and like Mojo World and things like that. So she may, she may be a little too much for that. Yeah, that's, mm. okay. that's fair. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm surprised both of these don't even have like a thousand credits or 800. This Cause is, I feel like last month and the month before they at least had a couple credits on them. Well, they definitely are, did are the, the first avatars. ones to do that. Sorry. The variants. That's what you were saying, eggs. Yeah. But yeah, I think this is the first time they haven't had any kind of credits or currency no. in there. It's not even boosters, right? Not even boosters. Yeah, there's there's oh, nothing. Man. So I, I'm wondering how well they'll sell. I mean, of course, we know Ken's gonna gonna grab him because he's got to have all the variants. But like, it, I, I'm curious how these will sell when somebody looks at two thousand gold is a lot of mission refreshes, straight credits that you can get, and all you're getting is your variants and titles. Yes, I love variants too, but I'm just the average player. I'm curious if they'll actually pick these up and if you know they'll make some kind of money for them or not. Especially the if heels. they compare it to the next bundle. The next bundle is yeah. great value. Or mm -hmm. or the, the bundle we just had or still have. The Jubilee bundle yeah. was for yes. five dollars. That was, was such a value. Yeah. I agree. Uh, we get fifteen hundred collected tokens with this one. Uh, we get a bunch of Deadpool boosters and this awesome Deadpool variant. I love and, that. And thirty two hundred credits. Is there yeah, a reason for well. 291 Deadpool boosters that I'm not aware of? I'm assuming it's an inside joke that we That's, don't understand. Well, yeah. Uh, is that an issue number or something? He he didn't know. It's nice. like he arrived in like 174 or something. I thought it was, or uh, I thought it was 189. 189 I thought, but maybe yeah. not. But it's definitely not 291. That's for sure. No. So I'm, I'm curious as to what that's about. That. How do you guys feel about it? Uh, when eventually we do get the sort of kind of friend system of like uh, being able to gift stuff, it's like gifting a variant to somebody. I think that'd be kind of cool. I, I mean, I really want them to do something with variants because with, I have a bunch of variants that I'm never going to use. I just don't like the art or I have my dream variant for that card and I've gotten free variants. So I'd, I'd love something. I'd destroy I'd them for them boosters or yeah, something. Yeah, but I say some yeah. crafting. Yeah, that'd be nice, right? Yeah, yeah destroy crafting them. is what I would like for that. Yeah. Or I'll give them to Ken, you know, or he can have all of them. <laughs> have them more of the them, variants yeah. in the game. Why not? Yeah. Or yeah, even what, I... what even what Dan was saying about uh, in the shop having the option to be like, oh, I want I want like these types. I think I think at least I think personally it would be cool if we had like one kind of re-roll a day. You know, it's like I don't mm -hmm. really like these ones. Let me re-roll and see if I can get some other ones. I think that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, like I'm only doing Dan hips at this point. I've I've figured that I need to focus in, and I haven't gotten a a Dan hip in probably like two weeks. So I don't understand why it doesn't look at your collection and like there's multiple spots in there and take like two of those spots and on those two specific spots, try to roll higher chance of whatever your top two variants you are. Yeah, there's no rhyme or reason because I get no. the same card several mm -hmm. days in a row. So. Except Pixel's uh, about 75% <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, hopefully you think something about that. Uh, thinking about that default dan i'm 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 scared that it would just end up meaning that you always get a pixel because even if you're not buying <laughs> pixels because there's just so many of them right it that's becomes true. your that biggest true. collection that is true all right so the only thing i can find on deadpool uh deadpool 291 is uh deadpool kills cable part five is uh the despicable hmm. deadpool so i don't know doesn't say anything else that stands out around it but interesting that is very interesting. That, is it divisible by 69 or anything? Like... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah, maybe oh, something man. like that. Uh, Kawa, call Ben. We need answers now. <laughs> what, what? Kawa, call Ben? You think I've got him on, on speed dial or something? Yeah, well, no, maybe Bing has him on speed dial. Bing has him on speed dial. Yeah. 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 This is pretty funny. All right, so I don't know if you guys did anybody play Binks yesterday? In battle mode? No, I think he was he was busy doing the video with Ben. Yeah. yeah. No, he came in the chat. He was like, "Can let's play?" And I'm like, "All right." Oh, really? With my whole line of people who wanted to play, I was like, no. <laughs> and then he destroys me. He destroys me with a hazmat deck. I'm like, "Damn, Big just embarrassed me." <laughs> hazmat deck. Like, okay. And he was just going around battling people last night. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I had, a, I, had a, I had a big embarrassment yesterday. I was playing Galactus against Dara, and he beat me with Cerebro Zero. <laughs> So, uh, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, he actually put Null in the deck to kept like I don't know if he knew I was gonna play Galactus, but he beat me by playing a Null on like he predicted where I'd play Galactus and he won off of that. It was crazy. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> that was wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Check crazy. the VOD. Check the VOD. <laughs> I played Dara yeah. and he played a Zabu deck that had Shadow King in it and he was claiming he was playing Shadow King, but I think I saw the card once and I was like, okay, <laughs> cool, stop it. And he was he was like trolling me with the Absorbing Man Spider Man combo. Yeah. And it was I lost oh, every boy. time. I no. had no chance. Yeah. So you know what I did? We had a uh, bar, a Luke's bar, and I was playing Galactus, and I was losing the game. I Luke bar Galactus. <laughs> and the so Excellent. I said, ha "See you next game, bud." Uh, <laughs> Brilliant. So speaking of battle mode, um, we have time. Would you guys like to do a live battle mode currently? Yeah. I am very down. down. Let's get two players. And let's see who's going to share their screen and make it happen. I can do it. I, okay, you I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a rematch. Oh, my so, God. Hey. <laughs> no. Wait, don't play the Valk deck, okay? I won't play the Valk deck. It's fine. Okay, well, it's fine. Kyle, Kyle the, the deck that I destroyed you with yesterday, yeah. play it. Send me the link, Luke. Send me the okay, link. Okay, I got you. I got you. All right, perfect. So you guys <laughs> oh can share God. your screen, right? Or one of you can share your I screen. Can, I, can, I can share. I can share my screen. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess one person, so... Uh, yeah, I'll, I, you can, you can trust me. I ain't no stream sniper. I'll minimize so I don't see exit the screen. But I want to see people's faces. <laughs> you can still see the face if you, you share. You, our face will be on the side. Yeah, just yeah. put, put your snap screen directly over whatever. Got it. it. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> there you go. Exactly, exactly. So I guess uh, while that's while that's deck. <laughs> wait. Well, while that's while that's getting up there, um, you know, Ken, I, I know we've we've talked a little bit about it earlier. Uh, but we have the big tournament that's that's coming up where we'll be able to showcase battle mode with uh, a few of us right here on the stream. I'm pretty sure all everyone all here is involved. <laughs> all of us. In it. Yeah, yeah. everyone here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so for anybody watching great. watching this uh, after the fact, what uh, what all do y'all have planned for us that you can maybe divulge that we don't know? Oh, you and Kawa got some secrets going on over there. That's a, that, you know what? Actually, we, we can reveal some stuff for sure. Um, I'm just going to make this deck as I do. But uh, something that we are working on, I'm going to give a shout out to my boy Chalker7. Chalker is working on the trophy. trophy. And let me tell it's you, amazing. it is absolutely awesome. superb. Wait, it is amazing. It? Can yeah. we not we see it, though? No. I don't want to show it. Okay, perfect. Because I do it. not want to see it until we no, get no. there. Oh, oh, gosh, just the I have to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Felt reached out, which is awesome. He was like, you guys are doing a great thing. I want to do this. And we're like, yeah, she's like, yep, I just so want to do it. And yeah, it looks amazing so far. Yeah, he's um, knocking it out of the park for sure. I cannot wait. Is it weird that Chalker show. looks like the kind of dude that could make a trophy? Like, yes, I don't know does. why, he does. but that totally makes sense to me. What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the kind of guy who can make a trophy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing we could definitely talk about. Um, I don't know if we're going to discuss anything else, like prizes. Oh, I don't know if we want to reveal. I yeah, mean, no, nah. no, we'll, we we'll, we'll keep, no. we'll keep that. Yeah. We'll keep that uh, yeah. We do have multiple prizes is all I'll say. And we're actually actively working to, uh, yeah, to get some more, but uh, we've got some cool, cool ideas in the works. Um, yes, indeed. It's been, so it's, it, it's been a, it's been a minute. I mean, if you guys want some backstory to, uh, I think uh, myself, Ken and Luke started talking about this probably just after, um, release. And it's mm -hmm. actually, I, I, I keep, thinking back and it's it's quite funny that this tournament is actually about to happen and we didn't know when we were actually expecting battle mode to come out by the end of december start of january yeah. so we just happened to time this perfectly and um, mm -hmm. so yeah i i am just super super stoked to um to see what y'all bring and just hang out with you guys for sure yeah funny uh, to meet you guys it'd be pretty fun you know so go yeah. see ant-man have some sushi karaoke. Yes, sir. Ant -Man, that's so right. excited. Yeah, karaoke yeah. sounds very dangerous but yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I still say whoever wins the tournament has to go up for karaoke first that's fair yes yeah. what if i win and i'm not there Oh, you gotta um, be there then. FaceTime? Yeah, we'll FaceTime. FaceTime. Face FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Karaoke by myself in my room. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, guys. I think I um I have my deck ready here, so I'll DM you a code egg so we can, we can get going. I already posted it in private. Oh in the my chat God. right there. Uh, who's sharing the screen there? Is it egg sharing or cargo sharing? I can share. Somebody just snipe that code quick. Snipe that code. <laughs> <laughs> Don't jump in real quick. <laughs> uh, which screen? People in chat was doing that last night, which is hilarious. <laughs> Oh yeah, I have, I have, I have, I have a code good. blocker on stream already. It's amazing. Right. Yeah, can you see so. that? Yes, we can. All right. Voila. All right. As soon as I click join, I will, I will minimize my screen. No cheating here, guys. I should change my deck name. <laughs> Agatha, I already <laughs> Definitely know. Definitely Agatha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so jealous of that card back. That's the one that I'm like very upset that I wasn't able to get because I started the season after. Yeah, the one. Mjolnir card back. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed, indeed. Yeah. I will say the one UI thing that bugs me, I, I'm sure you guys are also bugged by this, the is last that one floor? HP. Yeah. 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 Oh. Like it's like a half sliver because yeah. they're slanted. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I, I think this looks perfect. Like, yeah. Yeah. I like the change of the, the cube to red. It feels yeah. very daunting. It's a different turn. You, you, know? you can't spike <laughs> 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 Nerd. Is, the music, is the music the same? Because I haven't played with any music yet. Is oh, that's a music? great question. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My music right. turned off. Anybody knows? You, you music... know what I will say on the music front is I'm very disappointed that um, the sounds when you upgrade cards are now categorized as music. And so if, you're, no. if you turn your music down, that like those sound effects go away, which is kind I of a huge that, bummer. That's interesting. Nice try, nerd. Oh. <laughs> or sorry, let me rephrase that. When you open a card, the the okay. the quick little uh, music that plays when you open a card off mm -hmm. of the CL is now categorized as music, and that gets me. Oh yeah, that, um, right. that makes sense. I, I haven't heard that sound in in ages. I don't, I don't know what you're about. <laughs> the sound of like the voice audio was so alarming when I first started playing because it was at max Freaking volume. Max. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're trying to... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Sorry. I try every every episode, too, and I definitely fucking fail, so... <laughs> <laughs> Just went out the window there. Yeah. It'll be fine. Speaking I of which, think... guys, we are now on Apple Podcasts, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! So Let's go. We're oh, thank Apple you. Podcasts. That's very sweet oh, of you. That's... Here comes Shadow King. Oh man. Yeah, I, I think her deck is very good versus this deck. Wait, wait. I'm sorry, Kala. We were said don't use the Valkyrie deck, but then she used the Valkyrie yeah, deck. This, <laughs> is this is a different one. Oh man. That one's the that's the uh one with like yellow jacket. Is this the shade specialty deck with the Valkyrie instead of the leader in Bayro? It definitely is. I don't know what you're on about. Mm -hmm. I definitely did not talk to Shade earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I actually oh, went no. to her and was like, I need you to send me some well-performing decks because I have to start practicing. Mm. <laughs> so <laughs> this deck is the, the deck you're playing is actually incredibly good because uh, a big thing from the previous Valkyrie deck that I was playing against you is uh, obviously you want to have like your lanes full. But uh, with this deck that you're playing, if you just uh, like skip your five to discount your your She Hulk, or you have uh, you have a, a cheap death, then you don't actually need to have your, your full lane. You can just drop the Valkyrie and then drop that on top of it. So it's like super good. Yeah, like the last game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I got the Art Germ last night, and I was like, I have to play her. Yeah, that Valkyrie's it's amazing. So pretty. Yeah, it is. Guys, we have to find a variant that Ken doesn't own. I don't think it's possible though. Good luck. <laughs> I got a Korg Dan Hip, by the way, guys. A what? Have you seen that? A Korg, a Korg Dan Hip. Korg. I have not seen that. Exactly. I think guys. I've I think I've seen it like once or twice, but like I can't find I can't find any of the Dan Hips Ew, anymore. Really? I have twenty four and I kinda of stopped after that. Wow. Yeah, I got it yesterday and I'm like, interesting. All right. Let's go. Yeah. I still don't have the Yandu one. And I'm like, that one's been in there forever. Got that one too, yeah. That's day one. Yes, I know. God damn it! I don't know. I think. I think again. This is an interesting thing for what you said. Like, I think I just got a bad matchup. You know, the type of deck I'm yeah. rocking. Yes. and mm -hmm. that's exactly what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. Especially Killmonger. <laughs> no, yeah. As soon I, I've played a lot with the deck that you're playing with, Kawa. Mm -hmm. As soon as I saw her list, I was like, "Yep, nope." 
this is not gonna go well. That's exactly what we're talking about. It's yeah. Uh, At least give it a change would be great. I do think it's like it's one of those things where when we were talking about either being able to switch decks or like a sideboard, I think sideboards again coming from Magic are really good, but it is kind of a little difficult in a game like this. Like because then the biggest thing with Magic is the downtime in between games, switching in and out of cards, and people making mm-hmm. those decisions. So they would have to understand like, all right, what's the timer of picking the deck? Can you do it right after game one, or is it like? Two games and then you can change a deck, or three games and then you can change a deck. Um, maybe do you get do you get so many charges yeah. of changing your deck? Mm-hmm. Right. Your opponent doesn't know that you changed your deck. Yeah, you would have to make sure they have the same sleeves. So yeah, just true. keep that in mind. <laughs> true. Same sh- same shirt sleeves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go sleeves. Card backs. I'm sorry. I'm again. I'm a magic player, so I'm learning. I'm learning the oh, lingo. Plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Then? No Yu-Gi-Oh players, huh? <laughs> I tried it. I tried it once, but Not thank you. <laughs> you know what? I was I was tempted to after playing Hobgoblin play Absorbing Man just to send them over there as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I should have done. <laughs> oh man! I, I love when people get uh peaked and they like their Hobgoblin gets peaked and they still throw it over the to your side. Oh yeah! So, you always got to know what was going on. Yeah. I got you. Got to wait until their side is full. That's the perfect play. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get my my shit rocked them. I don't even know lie. what the hell you're playing. What is this deck? It's just like a, you're like kind of like your general clog disruption deck, you know. So the it's idea very, is, oh, I call those shit. fucking decks. It's very <laughs> yes. good versus yes. any deck that doesn't run like Carnage, Deathlock, <laughs> Killmonger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great oh, against oh, any oh, destruction right. decks. Yeah, <laughs> I will. I will say the Death deck kind of disappeared for the last two weeks or so. In ladder, yeah. but again, now that we're back to battle mode, it's a really good deck. So. Well, that's because everybody that played that deck was infinite, and they just stopped <laughs> playing. <laughs> right. Now, now they're on to just the fun, crazy stuff. Yeah, I mean, this is what it is right now. It's kind of like a unranked mode. That's yeah, like unranked mode right it's now. It's the it's the closest we have to unranked. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yikes. <laughs> At least it didn't stall out. Actually, something I think, uh, at least I know myself and Val learned, is uh, with Adelan, oh, yeah. uh, I don't know if this is actually true. I think this happened to me with somebody else as well, is that uh, if it freezes for one player, a lot of the time from the games I've played, it doesn't freeze for the other player. Yeah. I've hmm. played a few games of that, and it seems to be the case, which is obviously unfair, so hopefully they can. It, it may them. actually have to do with the like being the person that uh, initiates wave. cost change. So oh. I played wave immediately before Adeline. And then mm. I was the one dealing with the freeze sitting there complaining. Kyle was like, Oh, oh yeah. we're, we're, I'm good. I don't mm. know what Kyle, did it. About. Kyle did it yesterday and I froze. He didn't. Oh yeah. Oh, wave. Little bitch. Which is interesting. <laughs> and, and you guys are both playing on steam, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, okay. sir. Yeah. 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 So, so I had this happen to me as the first time. I know it's happened to some other people, but the fast forward thing, I did, yeah. I did not like that because somebody had, he had Zola and then like um, Odin or something like that, and so, so Odin always triggers it. Yeah, and so like I didn't like it because all of a sudden like I'm winning and then fast forward and then I'm like super losing and I'm like I don't know what happened and I don't believe it. It needs to I know like, I know it's true, but like I need I need to see it like literally happen in in fast yeah. motion and not see like yeah. the static the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. I, I understand that's probably difficult to do. Bitch, but. what? You <laughs> <laughs> got snapped on. What's your point? No, here? Kyle was snapped. I know. I said she got snapped on. Kyle oh, said, I thought you said he got snapped on. I think no, no, no. I think the plan here is to snap back at him. Yeah, that's what I see. Is, <laughs> It's the big bluff. He's what do you bluffing have? You. What do you have? Oh, this is for some seven cubes, ladies and gentlemen. Can Kawa pull it Does off? Anybody else feel it's really weird seven when cubers. it says seven up top? Yeah, like yeah. 100%. 100%. Well, he doesn't have eight power. To, he right. won't survive. Yeah, yeah. Correct. I can't play this other card. I told you I had to do it, guys. <laughs> the best play you could do. <laughs> Wow. What in the world? 
<laughs> he was done. There he, he goes. Was done. Was yeah, I mean, listen, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play through all those games when you're playing a deck like that. I'm just never winning a game. So <laughs> yeah, that's one way to retreat. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very bad matchup. That's true. The beauty Great of it, guys, Alex. is there's no cubes lost. That is the beauty of it. Yep. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And well, uh, except your pride. The ugly cubes. part is that there's no <laughs> missions. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's, it's, here's, the, yeah. here's the question, though. The question is going to be like a month from now if some leaderboard magically pops up that shows you all your wins and losses. And then oh, yeah. I was like, look, I'm, I'm 100% win rate. <laughs> yeah. wow. That's going to be a problem. Yeah. What up? You guys saw what Battle Mode looks like. It's super fun. You guys definitely check it out if you guys haven't already. Um, everybody can do it except new players that haven't played enough. You have to. Um, Complete yeah. rank 10, I believe. Yes, correct. Before you can get into battle mode. So definitely. That's when snapping unlocks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. When snap unlocks, battle mode unlocks as well. Um, yes. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Um, we definitely had a good time so far. Anything else you guys want to mention? I um I yeah. threw something into that dock. If you want to take a peek at the bottom of the dock there, um, this was brought up to me uh Ooh, by our yeah. friend Mr. Metal. Um All right. He had a friend who is sad. into AI and Snap stumble upon this. And uh, so this is a GitHub repo of a Marvel Snap auto playing bot. You this, scroll down a this bit. This makes here. me sad. This, this makes, makes me, me very sad. sad. Uh, I yeah, just kind of long Don worked on something like this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that, wow. So, so yeah, so if, if you guys don't know, uh, myself and Offbeat have uh, been working on a chat Twitch plays Snap. Yeah. Uh, we had it all working, and then, uh, of course, we've had two rounds of changes to the interface, so we've had to kind of rework what, what we're doing. We thought uh, of you instantly. <laughs> yeah, but this this makes me sad because, like, at least what I had was it'd be sitting on a different account that's not a right. real account, right, and it's chat playing it. But now that we have bots farming, this is gonna this could mm -hmm. potentially lead to account selling and yep. all that kind of stuff. So I already saw someone write on Reddit that he sold his account. That's and I... disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. This this I just think um is just something to draw attention to. I, I kind of mm -hmm. hemmed and hawed about talking about it uh in general, but I think it's one of those things that you do just bring attention to. And maybe if nothing more than to make it very clear to players that this is against toss. Yeah. Uh right. and this will get your account banned. banned. And yeah, I would yeah. hope. I would hope perma ban on your email address, uh, mm -hmm. something, because th this kind of stuff is not cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's it's only going to get worse as time goes on as these these bots learn the the game mm -hmm. more and more. <laughs> so yeah, this sucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of deflated <laughs> me a little bit because like this came up like as the battle mode thing got announced, and I was just like, yeah, man. Is Come on, mm -hmm. wind out of my sails. But like, I, I don't think we're going to necessarily see this a lot. Um, I just, I, I hope people are afraid to use it more than anything. Yeah, account will be banned. So definitely, guys, think about it before you even try yeah. to use it. Do we know if and anyone I, has been banned? I mean, obviously, this is a report feature, but I actually haven't seen personally anyone being banned for something. I, I don't know of bans. I know there have been people who have been forced to change names and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, I yeah. I would assume that that's going to really be case by case basis when it comes to like bans or suspensions or anything like that. I hope that ability is actually in uh, the game right. uh, to maybe yeah. suspend and stuff. You know, we know for sure now that we have snap IDs. So yeah, I right. think that something can be done about that. And most likely, I mean, I would imagine on the back end, this should be able to get picked up, right? Yeah. Somebody's not going to be playing yeah. snap for, you know, 18 hours a day, every day. Like, yeah, there's that fringe case, that one. Mm. There is know. Aaron. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But... Say, a -A Ron? Yeah. A -A -Ron. You know, but, <laughs> but for the most part, it, it should be like, if somebody, like, again, they're not switching decks, they're not doing stuff, that, that should be something that should be able to get at least flagged to be like, hey, go, go watch this account for the next mm -hmm. week. I will say, as um, someone who, like, I, I don't necessarily even think it was the fact that I was losing games, but when I did the 24-hour Agatha deck, I descended into a a hellscape <laughs> of people who were quite obviously using auto-clicking, like, on-screen auto-clickers to play and just accumulate season pass. That was extremely apparent. So, mm. at the very least, if 
if it can detect more so that you're barely playing the game and just push yeah. you down into your own little island with people who are who are Agatha botting, fine. <laughs> Do it to you your just, heart's yeah, content, I guess. You just go down this little honeypot trap where it's like, okay, you're you're over <laughs> yeah, here yeah, by yeah. yourself. It's it's like all those multiplayer games where they just take cheaters and put them all into their own cheater, <laughs> yeah. their <laughs> own <laughs> hub and, and like yeah. region, whatever. Like, if we just basically do that, fine, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I feel like Agatha botting is still something that hasn't even been talked about from second dinner. It and hasn't. It's like you're right. Extremely apparent. Yeah. Just by looking at the leaderboard on SnapFan, the good majority of those people who have a ton of games, their top deck is called Agatha Farm. So <laughs> I, I, I don't know how this is being missed. It's uh, and it's not the, uh, on top of that. Uh, if I could also just draw attention to the turn four retreaters that oh, I yeah. will run into five games in a row. Sometimes it's like, all right, let's commit this may name to memory today because this is the person that's going to dip on turn four every time. So let's try and win one lane. Or if I'm running a Cerebro challenge, it's like, all right, you just got to get Cerebro down on turn three. And we know that we can advance on this one. And like, that's, that's dumb. I hate that. I don't want to be playing that way. You drive me to it. Bastards. (laughs) And so, so these, so I, again, I'm, I'm maybe fairly new to some of this, but with the Agatha farmers and stuff, that's after they hit infinite, they're just getting boosters or just, in general, yeah, so they're doing it just for it's, boosters. It's not even boosters because the boosters are all going to go to Agatha. So oh yeah, yeah. It literally, yeah, yeah. it's actually now that now that flares have been introduced, the the number of flares increased. Um, there is actually an aspect to getting Agatha boosters because there is a crazy high number, hundred plus now of different uh, cards, card mm. flares that you can get. Card like um, effects yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like different different things going together plus with variants so you can i, I think i have something like nine thousand agatha or like thirteen thousand agatha boosters from that one 24-hour stream so like and, and you can get credit. those and you can use that <laughs> <laughs> but what people are actually going for is that um that season 10 xp pass, on yeah. the season pass per la- okay. per lane and then the one per turn mm-hmm. so if you just let your program run and it's just clicking end turn pick new game and turn pick new game. It's literally just clicking those two spots over mm-hmm. and over. Um, as you'll notice if, if you somehow get them to discard Agatha, uh, like you play a black bolt or something like they will not play anymore. It just stops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, yeah, it's just a grab season XP and like, whatever. That's I been guess. going since the start of a uh, beta as well, hasn't it? I'm pretty yeah. sure because I remember yeah. it was it's at it was, least like August. Yeah, at the yeah it was it was yeah. it was Aaron and actually I know uh, Carbon, another fellow who's uh, who's doing some tournaments at the moment. Um, he uh, went down that rabbit hole of basically like uh, retreating all of his games. I don't. I think they must have taken it out now. It was basically if you were winning a certain amount of lanes and you retreat, you just got XP. I yeah. don't know if that's been fixed, or whatever. But they did it to like farm farm that's, season pass xp and that's how they got like that's such a higher collection why level. that's pushed to uh turn four is because pe- like that started to ramp up a little bit mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and not to like throw blame at them or anything because this was something that was inevitable i think um and like that did ramp up so that's why that turn four thing happened there was also a couple of patches there where like um certain what was it like a missions needed to trigger after turn two or three or something like that and that's no longer a thing um because like that would kind of suck if you're retreating and you're winning a lane well you know you you were winning that lane so like certain missions like that do benefit still from retreating but yeah like the the one that's uh when win a lane with under 10 power and you just throw down squirrel girl turn one and dip out bounce (laughs) yeah yep yeah i just thought it was uh worth maybe bringing bringing some eyes on that yeah wow it's crazy and people are selling their accounts all right i i mean i've i've been seeing more and more of those posts in the last week or two like on you know the facebook groups and stuff like that and it's just like oh that's mo- most of them are people like i finished series three who wants this <laughs> wow <laughs> oh my god at people, that point that, if you're if you're whale enough to buy that account just you know drop drop the hundo <laughs> on the, the pro on the game like, yeah, exactly yeah yeah yeah, buying buying those sold accounts, they're it's not good because they can still even though you didn't do the bit, you didn't do the selling, they can still come and ban that. 
Mm-hmm. Right. And again, well, uh, it's one of those things, the IP address, right? Like that account's been using the same area of wherever they're from for the past, you know, 30 days, month, whatever. And all of a sudden it just switches. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Red flags everywhere. It becomes a problem. All right. Well, guys, this is great. I had a blast. Um, hope you guys had a great time. Again, thanks for coming out and enjoying um, spending some time with us. I mean, we could probably talk about Snap all night. <laughs> yeah. Probably do another time. Um, yeah. Well, after the tournament, I would like to have the winner back on Marvel Snapcast. So that'd be great. So if it's one of you, I wish you guys back at that point. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> calling it. Me? That'd be awesome. <laughs> I'll just we we got to see the we got to see the big the big trophy. Whoever wins it has to come oh, yeah, on and show show on. that yeah, trophy yeah, off. Show so. the trophy for sure. Yes. Totally agree. Um, I mean, in the last show. ninety minutes, this went from bragging rights to. I think you said multiple prizes, another <laughs> podcast experience, and a trophy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we gotta wrap it up. I need to go one. train. Get <laughs> 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 Rocky. Let's go. <laughs> um, it's funny enough. Ch- Chocolate just sent another image just now. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. Which is good. Yeah, just got this. <laughs> just oh, really oh guys, this actually looks so good. Better. <laughs> it looks yeah, so good. Um, but yeah, I want to see it so bad. No, no, no. <laughs> When you guys are from New York, you see it. Uh, well, yes. Luke, you you're, mute. Luke, you're on your mute, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Silent laughter. Exactly. Oh. But yeah, so um, can't wait to you guys come to New York. And yeah, we'll see what happens in the next one. Thanks again, guys. Yeah, thanks for Later. coming, guys. Bye. See y'all.